We tell companies that if they want to succeed in America, there are three things that they must do. First, differentiate. But if you can only offer a cheaper price, go home. There will always be another company with a lower price than yours. First, figure out what makes your product different from your competitors. Maybe it's a broader feature set or easy operation. Maybe you offer lower lead times or lower MOQs, customization or a longer warranty. Most importantly, you need to find out what customers want and then make sure your product or service gives that to them. In the B2B market, new vendors usually choose to use distributors and or independent sales reps. That means you will need to spend a lot of time finding the right ones. Not all will be interested in your product. Not all will be the right fit for your company. See, if there is an opportunity to disrupt the market by using a new form of distribution or by selling on the internet. Next, you want to price your product correctly. Understand that the value of your product isn't just its sales price. Maybe you can reduce the buyer's total cost of ownership by reducing their manufacturing steps or by being more efficient. If so, factor that into the value of your product when you price it. Second, localize. If you want to succeed in America, look and act like you belong here. You need to understand that what attracts American customers is different than what attracts domestic customers. Don't just translate your website, rebuild it to look and feel American, not only graphically, but thematically and culturally, and be sure to use local SEO terms. Get your intellectual property, trademarks, and copyrights registered in the U.S. and be certain your company holds the exclusive rights to them. Third, get smart. Do your homework. Do not guess or rely on second-hand data. Even if you have a few American customers, you still need more information before you can expand. So you need to dig deep to find out as much as you can about your competitors' products, pricing, sales channels, and promotional strategies. Analyze the market. How big is it? And do buyers want another choice? What influences buyers? What are the trends? What holes are there that need to be or can be filled? Does your product have the necessary certifications and approvals? America is a highly competitive, crowded market, and you need to put your best foot forward. And you know, nothing beats being in the market and experiencing it firsthand. If you haven't already, come for a visit, attend a trade show, see a distributor, talk to a few potential customers. If you can't do any of that right away, schedule a phone call with us by using the QR code on the left-hand side of your screen. And let's see if we can help.